Hello, uh, hello, <laughs> good morning, good week. As you can see, we've gotten our puppy that I've talked to you guys about us getting. Um, he's currently sitting on my shoulder. He just crawled up there. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I am in love. Okay, we've had him for two days. Today's day three, I think. And I am head over heels for this dog. I am whipped. I am this dog. <laughs> this dog. I am. Not, this dog is not mine. I am this dog's. That's that's how things are gonna go. Um, oh my god, he's so cute. But hello, it's been a while. It's been a hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been a hot second since I talked to you. Um, you're gonna fall, mom. He's fine. He's <laughs> well, put your camera down. <laughs> Don't do it, baby. Hello. Hi, baby. What is he doing? Back up towards the chair so if he falls, yeah. I don't want him to fall. Okay. He's like fully behind my head. Um, I haven't talked to you guys since I was in Florida. I am obviously back from Florida now. Uh, it's a good time. I had a great time down there. I'm excited to be vlogging again. I've missed vlogging these last couple of days. What? Yeah, well, you shouldn't have gotten yourself into that situation. What are you doing? This is what it's like. We've never had a puppy before. All of our dogs have been at least six months old when we've gotten them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have got. You're gonna fall. You're gonna fall. Here, go on. There we go. Okay, he's on the chair now. He's all. He's all good and safe, aren't you, baby? We don't really have a name picked for him yet. We were gonna, oh, shut up. We were gonna go with Doc, but we don't think that fits. So we're trying to come up with a different name for him. Either way, back to actual vlogging. Hello, how are you? It's been a hot minute. I, it is Monday. What day is it? May 2nd, something like that. Which means Amanda's birthday is coming up. Shoot, I gotta get her a present. Um, her birthday is on the 16th, and if actually you don't know, my one year anniversary on YouTube is coming up in like two weeks because because my first video was posted the day before Amanda's birthday, which is the 16th, so the 15th is my YouTube anniversary. I'll have been on YouTube for one whole year, which is like Your YouTube super. YouTube anniversary? My YouTube anniversary. <laughs> Mom's working on stuff. Uh, but it's Monday, it is 9 30 a.m. And I wanted to talk to you guys about a little thing that I'm doing. If you follow me on, oh shush, you can get down. He's scared to get down, but like he's jumped off my parents' bed. He's jumped off my bed. Oh yeah, big and bad. If you follow me on my social media, you would have known that I'm starting to do this like, I don't want to call it like a diet, but more of a lifestyle change is like, because it's not a diet because I'm not gonna stop doing it. Well, I might alter it, but I'm not gonna like stop doing it. But I, it kind of like hit me in the face that I need to get healthier and not like, not like, oh, I need to get fit and like ripped or anything like that. Cause that's ridiculous and that's a stretch and I don't really care about that. I just care about losing some weight and getting into a healthy weight and like reversing my prediabetes and all of that good stuff. And like, especially um, increasing my chances to get approved for top surgery and things like that. Obviously, I have to lose weight for that. So I've been doing a new thing, which is obviously, my parents know about it, I'm being monitored, so it's not like I'm not, it's not like I'm going in this without somebody observing me, and my doctors have recommended that I try to do something to lose weight, so this is what I'm doing. I am doing a protein bar a day, and then I'm doing like one bigger meal a day, so usually, in theory, it would be like I'm splitting the protein bar between breakfast and lunch, and then I'm having a full meal for dinner or a full meal for lunch and then half of a protein bar for dinner and things like that. And let me tell you, I've been doing it for four days already and I've lost 11 pounds. That's absolutely insane. I have lost 11 pounds in four days. That's nuts. Clearly my body reacts the same way my dad's does and it just like falls off. Not which. Fair. <laughs> my mom's like, my mom's like, that's not fair. And I had to make sure the scale was right because we have a Weight Watcher scale. But I stood on the scale twice today, and it came up with the same number. So 
I've lost 11 pounds in how long? It's literally been three full days of me doing this because I haven't broken at all. I stayed within my calorie limit. I haven't like done. I haven't like eaten anything that I wasn't supposed to eat outside of my calorie limit or anything like that. And yesterday I actually went up and got a gym membership at Planet Fitness. So on Wednesday I have a thing going in there with a trainer to figure out a personalized workout regimen plan thing for me and I'm pumped. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna start working out lightly. Not like, my intent is not to get like buff or like get abs or anything like that. It's just to lose some weight because healthily I can lose 50 pounds and still be considered overweight because of my height and age. So that's insane. Like I can lose 100 pounds and still like nothing. But what just happened? <laughs> so I'm trying to work on doing things like that. I'm trying to work on losing the weight. I'm trying to work on like getting a healthier lifestyle in the first place. Like yesterday I was at Red Robin and I was gonna like indulge real bad. <laughs> like Red Robin is my favorite burger place and obviously I couldn't get what I usually get because it's like 3,000 calories for just that meal. So what I ended up getting was a Boca burger that was vegan wrapped in lettuce with salsa on it. And it was actually like really good and then I got coleslaw on the side, which is obviously not vegan. But it was it was really good and I was like really proud of myself for staying within my limit and the dog is at my feet. But it was a good time and I'm trying things and that's fun. I have work later today that I'm really sad about. I'm <laughs> oh guys, guys. Oh <laughs> baby. He's too tired. But I don't really have other plans for today. I think I might convince my mom and I to go do something. Um, we will see and I will update you guys in a little bit. Hello everybody, it is Tuesday. It is 2.33 p.m. I am just getting ready to go pick my sister up from her bus stop. And then after that, I have to run up to Michael's and get some Mod Podge for a project that I actually think I'm doing for a video because people like suggested it and I was like hmm that's a cool idea so why not do it so I'm gonna do that it's a good time other than that not much has happened today I am on day five of this health diet thing I've lost a little bit more weight and I'm just it's, a, it's rough it's it's a hard time to try and like actually do this properly and not eat the way I used to eat. But I do have to say, I did eat lunch and I am not really hungry, which is a surprise and that's like good. Um, I think I'm gonna have the rest of my bar in a little bit. So that should be good. And I'm just like keeping up, keeping healthy. That's what I need to do. I've been doing a lot of YouTube work today. Uh, working on things can be extremely difficult. Also, I might not be working at my job for much longer. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You guys don't know where I work, but I don't know. I'm just having a rough time being there. I gotta figure my shit out and get find another solution. Oh, baby. I haven't showed you guys. Did I show you guys? Yeah, I probably did. Yeah, no, I did. Yesterday's thing was so long. Here's my little puppy. Here's my little buddy. Hi! We're thinking we're gonna name him Buddy because it fits. Oh, what do you want? You wanna come up here? Okay, let me pick you up. Come here. Come here. Here he is. This is Buddy. He likes to be held. He's, oh, <laughs> yes, kisses. Aren't you so cute? Don't bite me. I don't want you. Hello, hello. So we're thinking we're gonna name him Buddy, cause it fits. And I am about ready to get out of here. Also, this dog is the best snuggle thing in the world. Please don't lick my hand. He snuggles so often and so good and I get really happy about it. <laughs> um, I gotta let you guys go because I have to go pick up Amanda and then I have to run to Michael's and get the Mod Pod, but I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hello, it is still Tuesday. I'm pretty sure I vlogged earlier today. I don't know why in my weekly vlogs I only vlog 
for like a two minute portion of every day. I don't understand why I just don't treat it like a normal vlog and then condense it down. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. I guess I just like forget when I'm not daily vlogging to like actually get my camera out more than once a day. Oops, um, it's 11.48 p.m. So I have a couple hours before I have to go to bed because I don't do anything tomorrow. I don't work tomorrow. I don't do anything until noon because at noon I have, I, at noon I am going to the gym because I have a session with a trainer and we're going to work on a personalized workout for me which I'm super excited about doing because I got a gym membership if you guys didn't know that's a thing that is exciting so I'm going there but I'm gonna let myself if I'm not tired stay up a little bit later than I have been because recently I've been going to bed around like 11 or midnight even on nights at work which is good because it's getting my sleep schedule back in track because I've been getting up at like 8 instead of 9 but I set my alarm for 9 tomorrow so I can get up a little bit later and figure everything out. Also I put in my two weeks at where I work today which means I am leaving by next week which is kind of nice. You guys still don't get to know where that was but it's just gonna be a lot less stress on me and I will now have the freedom and ability to do what I want when I want and I have another job editing kind of lined up which is something I can do from home which pays the same and it's all good and dandy which I'm excited about because it gives me the flexibility that I need but I am gonna do some YouTube stuff because I've been doing and I like call it YouTube stuff but really in like I just dropped my keys instead of putting them on the handle don't whine in reality I call it YouTube stuff but it's actually something I consider work stuff because I do consider YouTube as an obligation and part of my job and I hope to make it my full career someday maybe not even just YouTube but like content creation and video production and things like that they're great social media is great okay I will check in with you guys tomorrow probably and <laughs> give him some attention okay so basically hi it is what day is it it's Wednesday it's like 8 p.m. basically I haven't vlogged today because I've been manic today and I've been experiencing mania and I made a main channel video about that. So if you've seen that, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you could go watch it if you wanted to. It's on my main channel. It's literally titled Manic uh, and it basically takes you through a day in the life of Riley Manic. And it's not a fun time and I can't comprehend things and usually I don't vlog when I'm experiencing mania, but I did just want to update you guys. I've had a really stressful and incredibly emotional day so I'm just chilling in bed watching amazing Phil as anyone would do um, I think I'm gonna edit a little bit of this vlog and get everything ready and set up I'm not sure I might do some more YouTube planning if I can think or I might pass out within the next half hour I don't really know but I do know that I will be back tomorrow and I'll be able to update you guys like more frequently and not as shitty as right now. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Thursday. I think today is Thursday. I am in my bathroom right now because I am getting ready. I am going to film some videos. So there's some stuff I have to do before I do that and that is I am going to shave my face because this is getting ridiculous. You can't see it, okay, but it's getting there. It's long, it's retaining oil, it's nasty. And then after that, what on earth? broke in here. Ugh. That makes me so irritated. Something broke and got everywhere. I think it was part of my powder. That's great because my powder broke and travels. Ugh. It's everywhere. Oh well. But I am going to film today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave to get all this hair off my face so I can easily and accurately do all of my makeups. And I thought it would be fun if I did that with you today, because why not? I haven't done my makeup on camera before, and I thought it would be a cool thing. So I'm gonna shave my face, and then I am going to drop everything. And then I'm going to do my face, so you guys will get to see that which is cool so here we go
Shaving done. Usually after I shave, I put on this lotion. It's like an aftershave, but it's like a lotion because I have sensitive skin, so I can't use like the normal shaving cream, so that's why I use like lotion-y shaving cream instead because my face gets irritated. So I am not going to put the lotion on today because I am straight going into my makeup, and I want to take this time to say I have no idea how to do makeup. I don't. I was taught over Skype from my friend Nikki, and that's all I know, and I don't know if I'm doing anything right. I'm probably not doing stuff right, so you don't have to be nasty in the comments if you see this or whatever. If you know how I can change it, that's great. Just don't be rude because I know I don't know what I'm doing. Still fairly new to makeup. This is like within the first 10 times of me ever doing my own makeup. So you're gonna have to live with that. But here we go, we're gonna start it off with my primer. Also, I know I don't have all the proper brushes. Brushes are expensive, I didn't have the money to buy them, so I'm actually going to be using the two higher end brushes I have for everything, as well as my Knock Off Beauty Blender. So, I know I'm not doing that properly, you're just gonna have to excuse that. And now I'm gonna move on to my concealer, because now I have my primer on, and I'm going to use the lightest shade concealer there is, because I am very light. All right, now that my concealer is on and blended in, I am going to use my foundation, which again, it's in the shade Nude. It is the lightest shade they offer because I am incredibly white. And now my foundation is on. The next thing I'm going to do, which I know I am not like fully educated on how to do properly, but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my highlight and contour palette and I'm going to do that in certain areas. And again, I know I'm not using the right brush, but this is the only brush I have at the moment. And now my contour is done, so I am going to move on to my powder. Again, a light color because I am white. Alright, and now that my powder and everything is on, I'm just going to finish it off with a setting spray. And that's it, we're done. This is Riley's finished makeup look for filming and everyday fun stuff. That was fun. Maybe if you guys want, I'll do a video on my main channel of how I do my everyday makeup. If you are up for that, that would be cool. So if you do want that, make sure you leave a comment below. And I am getting ready to film some videos for next week, which I'm really excited about. Also, today's Thursday, which means my new video just went live, which means you should go check it out. It's a video for my future friend. 
friend. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. It'll be the most recent video on my channel, I believe, as this vlog goes up. So you should go check it out and give it a like, as well as do that for this vlog. If you've enjoyed it so far, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Please, it helps me out. All right, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. It is later in the day. It's um, 7 p.m. I have to go to bed in roughly an hour and a half, two hours, because I have to get up at 4 because I work at 5 in the morning. But you know, I really don't want to have to do that, but I'm gonna have to. Can you not chew on that, please? No, it's not for you. He's always constantly chewing on everything, and it's quite annoying. What are you doing? Those socks are not yours. But like, he cares. But I have to get up ridiculously early, so I actually have to go to bed soon, which sucks. We went to dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings and I've been craving it. It was so good. It was so good. It was exactly, exactly what I've been wanting for weeks and I'm so happy I went. And I think right now I'm just gonna sit. I might make some tea. Don't bark at me. I might make some tea. I'm going to read because my current read right now is Girl Online. So, bye. I keep hiccuping by Zoe Sugg, aka Zoella. I'm excited to read it. It should be good. So I'm gonna settle in, do some, do some of that, and I will check in with you guys probably tomorrow, but in a little bit. It is later in the day. It's um 7 p.m. I have to go to bed in roughly an hour and a half, two hours, because I have to get up at four because I work at five in the morning. But you know, I really don't wanna have to do that, but I'm gonna have to. Can you not chew on that, please? Those socks are not yours. But like, he cares. <coughs> but I have to get up ridiculously early, so I actually have to go to bed soon, which sucks. We went to dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings and I have been craving it, it was so good. It was so good. It was exactly, exactly what I've been wanting for weeks and I'm so happy I went and I think right now I'm just gonna sit. I might make some tea. Don't bark at me. I might make some tea. I'm going to read because my current read right now is Girl Online. So, bye. I keep hiccuping by Zoe Sugg, aka Zoella. I'm excited to read it. It should be good. So I'm gonna settle in, do some, do some of that, and I will check in with you guys probably tomorrow, but in a little bit. Good day, everyone. It is Friday at 12:30 p.m. and I haven't really done much today. I mean, I got up at four to go to work, so I have been up for quite an extended period of time. Work was all right, it's my second to last day, and I think my last day is sometime next week. I don't know, I'm pretty excited about being done there and doing something new and fresh, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I don't really have any other plans for today. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do because honestly, there hasn't been much for me to do today, but what I am excited about is that tomorrow LJ and Leo are coming to stay the night so you will get to see LJ and Leo again. I am pumped. It's going to be such a good time and I don't know, I'm kind of excited about everything right now. Um, I don't know, I don't think I showed you guys yet, but one of my new pillows came in the mail. It is my follow button pillow to match my subscribe button pillow and then I have like and reblog ones on the way they were selling them at playlist live but they were selling them for $20 a piece and when my dad and I looked we found them on Amazon from a different brand that were the exact same thing for like eight bucks a piece so we spent like 35 instead of 80 on the pillows which is brilliant and amazing and honestly they're so cute. I think they look cute in the chairs and on my bed and stuff. And I'm excited to get the other ones. And I just think it's great to have a little bit of social media incorporated into my regular everyday life. So I edited the first part of this vlog and I think it's at like a half an hour long. Like that's so long. I haven't made vlogs that long in such a long time. But I'm kind of glad I did because I got to show you guys how I put on my makeup and all that good stuff. 
And I don't know, I really like watching really long vlogs, so I don't know if you guys like watching really long vlogs, but I know I like to watch really long vlogs, so I guess maybe I'm more making it for myself than I am for you guys, but you know, I guess that's just how it's gonna be. Food-wise, I've already eaten a full protein bar today, and I'm going to have, uh, I think I have a Lean Cuisine something Asian sesame chicken dish that I'm gonna be having at dinner around 5 p.m. and then I will be done with food today and I'm so excited to be getting back on track because the last couple days I've been a little off, I've been a little slacking so I'm gonna go a couple more days of being on track and then I'll weigh myself again. Right now I am at 147.6 or something like that which is a big improvement from 160 which is where I was at so it's kind of exciting being able to lose weight and stuff. I think I might head up to the gym later, which is the thing I might do. Yeah, I actually think I might do that. I may do that, I might not. Like, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But I know I have to go into Brighton for some stuff anyway at some point, so maybe I'll have my mom come with me to go do that. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> But I will update you guys along the way, so I'll see you in a little bit. Hello! Oh my gosh, he's being so loud. I have him in his crate because I don't want to deal with watching him right now. What's up? It's later in the day, Friday. I've put a bandana on, and I am really digging this look. I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing my dad's shoes, my jeans, my I'm not your dad shirt that's from Bent Apparel, and then my bandana. And I'm really feeling my outfit right now. I'm kind of inspired to go film a video that I have been wanting to film for a little bit, but I also kind of like don't really want to go out and film it, um, because it's got to be filmed outside, but I'm like kind of inspired to film it, kind of not inspired to film it. I also wish I had friends here in Whitmore Lake right now because I really want to go take some photos in these clothes because I feel like super cute and I really wanted to get some good photos for it, but nobody's really here, so it's a little bit more difficult to do that. Um, also, my vlogging setup's a little bit different. I have my camera right now on a gorilla pod, uh, and that's how I'm holding it. So I'm holding the bottom of the gorilla pod because I saw Gabrielle Marie do like a video review type thing on a similar tripod, and I knew I had a gorilla pod laying around. And to be honest, it's making it a lot easier on my arms than just holding my camera out and having it on the gorilla pod is like less strenuous on my arm which is really cool and I can just easily flip it around like that and flip it back and then you can see me again which is great. The only thing I'm still having trouble with is that I don't have a viewfinder on this camera. It's a Panasonic Lumix like DMC ZS7 or something like that and it doesn't have a flip out screen and I don't have enough money to buy a vlogging camera with one right now. That is something I'm trying to save up for, is a vlogging camera with a flip-out screen, but I do know that it's something I want. I'm thinking the Canon G G7X, because that's what a lot of bigger YouTubers use, and I've heard it's really good, so I am going to look into getting like a refurbished one of those, and I'm sorry, he's being so loud right now. I just cannot handle looking after him for any moments longer than I already have, because I'm like exhausted, and I cannot handle it right now and I just want to like chill out and relax and I don't know there's just like a lot I could be doing right now but I'm like not motivated to do anything if that makes sense that's so lame I'm so lame I'm probably gonna see if a friend of mine can hang out or something like that and I guess I'll check in with you guys in a little bit hello everyone welcome back to the vlog I just filmed my new video with this baby and I happened to make a discovery that I am quite irritated about and that is my trunk does not want to like open and stay open because watch what happens it's a great time I'm really irritated because that has not been an issue before in my car but it seems to be an issue now and that just makes my life so much easier. It's absolutely wonderful, isn't it, guys? But I did, I just filmed an entire video with my car, not for next week, but for the week after. And actually, the week after next is my one year anniversary on YouTube. Can you guys believe that I've been doing this for a year? It feels like it has passed so, so, so quickly. And I've had, honestly, 
such an amazing time doing it and I'm so glad I got started with it. I am loving every second of the vlogging and the actual video production and it's such a good and fun experience and I'm loving every second of it. I just wanted to update you guys and that I'm really pissed that this trunk of my car is not closing. That's all I wanted to say really. Other than that, I mean, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so it is later in the day on Friday. It's about 9 p.m. I am just taking little buddy out here to go to the bathroom before I get all curled up and ready for bed. I'm gonna actually try to go to bed at like 10, 10.30-ish, maybe 11, because my goal is to be able to get up at 6 in the morning, which is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, because like I want to be up when the sun's up, and all of that good stuff, and I've honestly wanted to be able to do that for a really long time, but I haven't really found an opportunity to, and now that I'm going to be off work soon, I can come up with my own schedule which is really great and I'm really excited about that and I'll be working for a good friend editing some videos and doing that kind of stuff which is going to be extremely exciting I'm so pumped to be able to do that for her and maybe I'll give you a little bit more information on that later this weekend if I can and I feel like I might split up this vlog and so like I might end this one tonight and then do another weekend vlog because I'm going to be with LJ and Leo this weekend which means there's going to be a lot of shenanigans that are happening they are actually coming over here for the very first time which is extremely exciting they haven't been over to my place yet and it's almost kind of weird because like I obviously still live with my mom and dad and my sister and LJ is like 22 so she's coming to stay at my house but I have like my parents around and stuff but when I go and stay at her house it's obviously just her and Leo so it's it's a little bit of a different experience and I don't know how she's gonna feel about it I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it we might fill some collabs if we can come up with that ideas I think that would be super duper fun and I'm not really sure what else we're gonna do while they're here but she's coming tomorrow evening because she does have to work until 5 and then she's picking Leo up and then they're coming over so they should be here at like 6 30 7 o'clock tomorrow which I'm really excited about that means less than 24 hours until I see LJ and Leo I miss them so 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 much and I'm so excited to hang out with them I know you guys know I've only seen them like a couple times and I've only been friends with them for like two and a half three months maybe but it's just we've developed such a close connection that it's like we've known each other forever and it's absolutely amazing and I love them so so much so if you don't know who LJ and Leo are they are my friends uh, Leo on YouTube is a sleepy artist all one word and LJ is Laura Jean online if you search that or go to youtube.com slash Laura Jean online you will be able to see her content and stuff and I know LJ has a side channel where she's doing a ton of vlogs which is absolutely great because I love vlogging and I know that she loves vlogging and we will most definitely be in each other's vlogs and it's going to be amazing so I will let you guys know and I think I'm probably gonna end this vlog tonight and then do a weekend vlog so I feel like that might take up a little less space I think I might start doing that though it's like doing like weekly vlogs and actually now that I'm not gonna be at work I might daily vlog more I think that would be fun I love to daily vlog and I think I can produce enough content to be in a daily vlog and I know you guys see me like and I'm only in my house all the time because I don't really have money to go anywhere but I think I will try to get out more if I can have the money to like go travel like go to Brighton go to Ann Arbor go to the mall fun stuff like that even if I don't spend money there like at least I can like go there and it'll be a fun time so I'm gonna go let buddy back inside and chill out for a little bit and then I think I'm gonna head to bed around 10 or 11 just so I can wake up at like 6 and it'll be a good time and a fresh start to the morning I mean this morning I got up at 4 a.m. so that was a trip I'm gonna go edit this part and I will catch you guys in a little bit all right, everyone, I'm going to take this as a good night and an end to this vlog because I will be doing a separate 
weekend vlog so if you enjoyed this vlog make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what did you do this week that was fun i really look forward to going through and reading those comments and yeah i love you guys and i will see you soon